Well, welcome to Breaking Bread Homestead. I'm Seth. Uh, we're getting ready for the winter, so we're gonna start cleaning out this uh, wood stove pipe. We're gonna take out these bowls. We're gonna take this tubing. We're gonna take it outside. So we don't want to start our first fire and have all this creosote in here and it start a fire like so many people don't do. So you want to make sure you clean this out. Some people don't do it every year, but we do it every year just to be safe and make sure. So we probably burn it for all winter and summer spring whenever it's still kind of cold what are the months that we usually do it from we usually do this from about october burn it we do what we burn wood which comes in here so we burn it from usually here and then this is our wood or for our oven and then this is our stove top that'll get cleaned up but uh so we usually use it from like what we say first of october ish to uh maybe marchish depending on how it is but usually whenever it kind of just start warming up uh we might use it a little bit just to keep the house warm but that's about the months we use it in between not every day we might not use it but we use it pretty frequently through those so maybe if you add those months up we're looking at maybe a hundred ish days we use this off and on so that we'll cook on it we'll I mean, we do a bunch of stuff with We do stuff. all of our cooking. Yeah, we do most we, of our cooking, but we also have an oven as well. So, like, we do that, and I mean, like, right now, I'm just going to take this off. So, it's real simple. You'll see the process as I do it. I may speed it up a little bit, too, in some parts, but just take a little screw. A little screw. You want to... Whenever I do this, I'm going to put a Walmart sack on it or whatever kind of plastic bag you guys shop at. It could be a Hobby Lobby bag, Walmart, all these. But it'll catch all that creosote that I'm going to push down from the top. But I'm going to take this off. Because this is our main inside insert. So you see all that build up in there, right here on the sides? If you start a fire without cleaning this out, this can catch fire and go through your roof. You can see it pretty bad. So we'll run this brush down. All right, well we're gonna take this sack and we're gonna put it on here because we're gonna catch all what you just seen us do outside, we're gonna catch it in the sack so we don't have a big old mess in this room. So what I do, I'm gonna take these screws that we took out and screw them back in with my hand. So it'll hold this sack up so you don't need a bunch of tape. these off now we're on the outside of the so you can see inside of here all that stuff that builds up we're gonna clean that out right there I know it doesn't show it justice but goes all the way into the house. Catches all your stuff for the following winter. You can throw it away, or you can save it and clean out your insides and put it in there, or you can use your shop vac. Since our shop vac is out, 
I'm going to do it by hand. I'm going to clean this out. Just take it. Just clean all this out. Well, I'm getting it. Well, will you give me a light? Well, we got this all put back together just like we had it already before. We put these things. The only thing I would probably say is try to remember where your marks are so it's easier to put back together. But um, other than that, thank you for watching us how to clean out we how we do our wood stove. And uh, please like and subscribe. And if you don't like getting dirty, maybe wear long sleeve old clothes and gloves. But I mean, working on wood stove, you're going to get dirty as well. See ya.